My lords, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tewkesbury Abbey. The Abbey was the landmark for opposing forces in May 1471. Queen Margaret and the Lancastrian forces would have seen the then whitewashed tower with the spire on top as they approached Tewkesbury coming from Gloucester along the riverbank searching for a way to get to Upton on Severn. King Edward and the Yorkist forces were approaching from Treddington. No doubt Abbot Strencham and the brothers were concerned, as were the townsfolk. The Abbey was not only an abbey but was, and still remains, a place of worship for the townsfolk. In the 549 years since the battle on May the 4th, 1471, a lot has changed, but the troops of the time would have recognised much that's still here. Hanging near the west window is the Black Bear Banner, a modern addition, the banner of Tewkesbury Medieval Festival. Embroidered around the edge are the names of directors of the company who've passed on. The west window itself has changed since 1471, the original having been blown out in a gale in antiquity. On the Saturday of the battle weekend, the Compline service is held in the Abbey by invitation of Father Paul, and the names of the reenactors who've passed away are read out. Because of the ban on bladed weapons, all swords, bills and daggers are left outside carefully guarded, including the small wooden swords of the child reenactors. This is the point in the abbey where the townsfolk could go no further. Beyond this point, where the rood screen was in 1471, only the monks were allowed. At the time of filming, the nave looks much as it would have done, as most of the chairs have been removed due to the current Covid crisis. Attending mass meant you had to stand, with the weakest going to the wall for support. After the battle in 1471, some Lancastrians fled to the abbey in the hope of sanctuary, but Tewkesbury, sadly, was not a sanctuary church. Legend has it Lancastrian soldiers were done to death in the abbey itself. Abbot Strencham tried to keep the Yorkists out, which must have been an act of great courage, as the Yorkists were victorious. Cantate Domino, cantate, cantate, cantate Domino, canti con no, la seus in ecclesia sanctorum. Here we come to the choir, and here we have a memorial plaque to Edward the Prince of Wales, last of the Lancastrian line. Here lies Edward, Prince of Wales, cruelly slain while but a youth. Alas, the savagery of men! Thou art the sole light of the mother and the last hope of thy race. We don't know exactly where he was buried, and the original memorial has been removed. After the bloodshed in and around the abbey, the abbey had to be cleansed and reconsecrated. Edward IV, Yorkist victor, had the sun in splendour, his battle badge and colours installed. Almost unique in England are these stained glass warriors of the de Clare and Fitzhammond families. On the inside of the sacristy door, the Abbey Treasure House, are strips of metal reputed to have been horse armour collected after the battle. Were they? Is that just fond legend? I leave that to you to decide. Beyond here was the Lady Chapel dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary, destroyed when Henry VIII dissolved the monasteries of England. It's out there that the reenactors reenact the skirmish, trial and beheadings on the Saturday of the festival before the Compline. Duke of Clarence, brother of Edward IV and Richard Duke of Gloucester, later Richard III, married Isabella, daughter of Warwick, the kingmaker. She sadly died in childbirth in Tewkesbury, and she, and later the Duke of Clarence, executed for treason, rest here. Their bones are in this vault. After the battle, the leading Lancastrian nobles were tried and executed, and many of them are buried in and around the abbey. The Tewkesbury Battlefield Society has an explanatory leaflet, for free, that as visitors you can pick up as you make your way around. We've come into the St James's Chapel now, the Abbey Shop. 
Beaufort, the Duke of Somerset, Queen Margaret's right-hand man, is buried here. He was executed after the battle. His brother, the Duke of Dorset, killed in the battle, is also buried here. Now, thank you for coming on this brief tour of the Abbey. As we exit, imagine the choir and congregation on the Sunday of the reenactment weekend streaming out to join the parade that occurs in the town. The Abbey also holds its Sunday Eucharist on the King's Camp on the reenactment site. In 2021, we commemorate the 550th anniversary of the Abbey's reconsecration. Please look out for the many celebratory events that will be taking place in the town. I thank you for coming on this brief tour, as I said, and I hope that you are staying safe in these somewhat dark and unusual times. And we do look forward very, very much to seeing you next year in the flesh for a genuine 550th anniversary of the Battle of Tewkesbury. <laughs> <laughs>